Thanks for staying up with us. After more than five decades, Houston County will get a new sheriff this year. When Cullen Talton announced his retirement last year, several of his current and former employees decided to run. And tonight, the four Republican candidates share their plans and how to tackle crime. There are four Republicans fighting for the chance to lead Houston County's law enforcement. We gave each of them the opportunity to answer the same questions. Here's the first one. Listening lab participants told us that crime is a top priority for them. If elected, what is your plan to address crime in Houston County? In alphabetical order, here are the Republican candidates for Houston County Sheriff. Jimmy Dunn, Will Kendall, Matt Moulton, and Slate Simmons. We got to look at our staffing, and we got to look at how many patrolmen we have out there. You know, how many people's boots on the ground out there every single day. Our investigation team. You know, uh, what's causing this crime? I mean, because the ground root of it is, I, you know, I'll be the first one to say, you know, I'm not scared to say I'm a I'm a Christian. So I know what's been taken out of uh, out of homes, what's been taken out of schools, what's been taken out of courthouses, is the Word of God. When we take that out, that's our number one problem with crime. As district attorney, I've done some pretty proactive things just out of the district attorney's office with the gang task force and the counter narcotics task force for the county. Um, it's produced results. I would carry those things on as sheriff. Um, certainly be proactive about uh, going after gangs, you know, which ties into our serious violent felonies committed by juveniles, uh, but also uh, going after drug traffickers and the people that are peddling poison that are killing our people here in Houston County. Well, if a criminal is out here going up and down Watson Boulevard, looking for an opportunity to commit a crime, if they see blue lights flashing every 500 yards, they're going to have a subconscious mindset saying, hey, I can't get away with anything. I'm going home for tonight. Versus coming out and riding up and down Watson Boulevard and not seeing a patrol car in sight for two or three hours, now that opens up the foothold for them to step in and start committing crimes of opportunity. How are we going to be proactive? We need to ride around our neighborhoods at night and our businesses. That's going to be coupled with the fact that some of the Citizens Police Academy, you'll be able to do everything from come to us and we'll help you set up a neighborhood watch program to becoming a deputy sheriff. But if we can just connect with the citizens, guess what? There are actually citizens that sit up in their neighborhoods at night and go, hey, there's a white Toyota Camry. You've got some subjects walking in hoodies and they're you know, pulling on door handles. And if we can make that connection and they know that we have that relationship, they're going to take a more proactive approach and because we need help. I mean, and we need to be humble enough to admit that. Now, we also spoke to Democrat Arthur Harris, remember, for a partisan race, May serves as the primary. The winner of the Republican primary will face Harris in November. To see the complete interview with each candidate, including Arthur Harris, you can look for the story on 13WMAZ.com. Tomorrow night, find out how the candidates plan to follow in the footsteps of outgoing Sheriff Cullen Towton and whether there's anything they might change.